On May 29, 1953, Edmund Hillary and Tenzig Norgay reached the summit of Mount Everest. And on 29 May 2022, I finally purchased a Rolex Explorer, reference 114270. So the watch comes with all the relevant booklets as well as the Rolex card and swing tag. For a watch that is 14 years old, I was pleasantly surprised that it still had all the booklets, let alone the good condition that they were still in. The booklets were full of information from explaining the functionality of the winding crown to information about the Rolex headquarters in Geneva. It's been a long time coming. I have admired the Rolex Explorer reference 114270 for a very long time. And recently, I pulled the trigger. I finally purchased the Rolex Explorer reference 114270. I purchased this watch from a very dear friend of mine, which resulted in a very fair deal financially for myself. As you will know, Rolex watches demand a premium. Luckily, purchasing this watch from a friend allowed me to get a great deal on this watch and pay much below the current retail for this watch. Before I pulled the trigger, I had the opportunity to try the watch on and honestly, within the first five minutes, I was sold. The Rolex Explorer 114270 is powered by the caliber 3130 an automatic movement with 31 joules. The caliber 3130 is essentially the same movement as the caliber 3135 that powers the Rolex Submariner 16610 but without the date. The rotor that powers this movement is a bi-directional and when fully wound the movement will have a power reserve of 48 hours. Here is the loom shot. I was nervous about purchasing a 36mm case watch. This is probably the smallest case watch I have. Let me know your thoughts on the Rolex Explorer 114270. And does it suit my wrist size? I have a fairly average wrist size of 6.5 inches. If you would like to support the channel and have enjoyed today's content, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you.